everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is the last of my Valentine series. I'm just doing five this year. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute box. Well, it's an exploding box. So I haven't finished all the decoration yet. I think I'm going to do it throughout this video because once I start putting the other one together and I can see what I'm using with that one, then I can yeah, play around with it. So basically, some of you may be familiar with this. This has also been a requested. It's, I, yeah, I'd say quite a few people actually have requested this. But whenever I get requests, sometimes I get sent um, other people's tutorials, I get sent pictures, and I try not to do direct copies of someone else's work. If I'm going to do something, then I like to change it up a little bit. So I know Shrishti Patil, she has done something like this some years ago. Um, Helen Griffin has dies to make it. So, you know, there are, and there's hundreds of tutorials with it on there, so I don't really know who was the first person to come up with this. However, However, I was looking at some of them and I thought I can see other ways to develop it. So this is what I've done. So it's a rectangle shape. You take the lid off and then you have this little drop down here, which is a little envelope with a gift card in, which I'll show you in a minute. But then these drop down and this one drops down. And yes, there they are, two Tonics tea cakes. <laughs> but I filled these with Lindor chocolates. Now, I think I would like to put Lindor ones in here as well, but um, I only ate one, I promise. So um, I'm gonna probably buy another one of these ones here. These are delicious. They're the strawberries and cream. Um, yeah, so this is what I've got. So you just take off, there's like little, you can just pull them off the top. I mean, if you wanna put a little tab there to maybe pull the acetate up, you can do, and then you can just take the treats out. Um, and then that just slides back in. Like so, and then like I said here, now at the minute, this is attached with a little glue dot, but I wanna change that. I'm gonna cover that with something as well, because I did put a Velcro dot on, but it was too bulky on the sides. And then I've just got a gift card in there. Okay, so I just need to kind of tidy that up a bit, but otherwise it is nice. In fact, that glue dot's already, yeah. So we need to look at that. And um, you've got room here to write something, but I'm unsure whether I'm going to or not. I did cut a piece of cardstock. I think I've got it. Oh no, maybe I cut a heart out of it. Anyway, to go there and then you could maybe write something. You could also have a card in there so it could open up and there would be a nice little card for someone to read. There's lots of ways to play around with it, but basically the other ones that you'll find, I've got four of these, so it, another box drops out at this end. But I quite liked the thought of having a little gift card in there. So it's kind of a little bit like the selection box. I had the gift card in that with all the chocolates and the tears and all the bits that you, know, you could slide out. And that was really nice. So yeah, this is what I've done here and then it all folds up together and then you just slide your lid back on and then I've just started to just do a, you know a little bit of decoration on the front there with a couple of hearts you could put a belly band around this as well if you wanted to but it's a really lovely gift you can fill this with all sorts you don't have to put chocolates in there you could have some you know gifts jewelry all that kind of stuff but um yeah let me show you how to make this because it's pretty straightforward Okay, so I've gone ahead and done two of the boxes. So I'm gonna show you how to do one on camera and show you how to do the lid and then the base. And then everything else is just your mats and layers to decorate it. So you're gonna need three pieces for the boxes, okay? And these are six and a half by eight. So on all of the sides, you just wanna score at two inches. So two, four, six, and eight, okay? Then fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pop that to one side while I've got the scoreboard. Then you want a piece of cardstock that is, so this one here, you want it to just be under, so you're better off, obviously you'll you know cut it with your trimmer first. Let me just grab mine so you can see what I've done here. Because this is the lid, so we need it to be that little bit bigger to sit over everything. So you want this here to just be under six and a quarter. So you'll see there, you've got those other little, small little kind of markers. They're your one sixteenths of an inch. You wanna be on one of those. So you'll have your six and one eighth, and then you'll have your six and a quarter. You wanna be the little marker under that one, okay? And that extra little piece that we give the bot, you know, give the lid will allow it to close, okay? So it's a little bit, yeah, make sure it, you want it to be under six and a quarter, and just above six and one eighth. It needs to be in between that one there. And that is by eight and a quarter. Okay, so that's how you get that measurement there. And then you just wanna score on all four sides at one inch. So one, 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 and one. And again, fold and burnish all of those score lines. Okay, so that's that one. Again, only one piece, and then one piece for the base. 
So this is nine and three eighths of an inch by 11 and a half. And you want to score at two and five eighths of an inch and eight and seven eighths of an inch. And then rotate and again do two and five eighths of an inch and six and three quarters. And again, fold and burnish. I'll do the acetate in a moment because I've put it all away. So I've just remembered, I thought I've not pulled out the acetate, but we can do that in a minute. And we'll fold and burnish. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of my scoreboard. Okay, while well, I've got the base here, really easy. You just wanna remove the four squares in all of your corners. I'm just gonna get my longer scissors. So you just wanna cut up and you want to remove all the score line, okay? So you don't want that to be on show because this will become the outside of your box. So I'm just cutting each of those squares away in each corner, okay? Okay, and then just go around and just make sure that you can't see any of the score lines. So I'm just removing, like I said, any lumpy bits. Okay, so that's our bottom of our box, all right. Then I'm gonna to go to the lid. And for this one, along the long side, I like to just cut straight down each of the score lines to the first score line. So, just like so. And then rotate it round, and again, just cut straight to that first score line. And then I'm just gonna go around each one and just take a little bit off each of the sides so you just don't get anything overhanging on your lid. Okay, so you've got something like that. And then I'm going to grab my glue and you just want to stick. Actually, no, I'm going to do it last because there's a little tip that might come in handy for some of you. So we'll do that at the very end because it all makes sense. So, okay, this is one of your boxes. So again, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to cut down the longer side. I'm just going to cut really neatly straight down to the first score line. Like so. And again, rotate and just cut straight down. And then again, just take some little wedges off of each side. So just exactly the same way as you've done the lid, but you want to do this three times. Okay, so you've got something like that. So now I'm going to grab my glue and on each of the tabs, you just want to bring it under and around and then bring up your side. So you create a nice right angle like so. Make sure it's all stuck down. Then go across to the opposite side. And again, bring that under and around. And then you've created one side of your box. And then go to the opposite side, and this time you can do both at the same time. So just some glue on those tabs. And then just bring that up. And if you're using liquid glue, I mean you can use double-sided tape if you want, but you've got room there to be able to just move it around a little bit. And you should have Everything should join up nicely at the tops and the tabs should line up you know, with each other inside there because of the measurements that we've got there. So now I've got my three little boxes there ready to stick onto the base. So again, I'm gonna leave the lid for the minute till last. So now you wanna decide what end you want to have your gift card. What you wanna do is, is you're gonna be gluing all of the bases down, okay? So I'm gonna glue one base down to there because then that will stick and then when we bring it up, it will come in like so, okay? So you wanna do one of your ends, your shorter ends first. So I'm gonna add my glue. Again, if you wanna add any mats and layers also at this point, I would do that first. I didn't, I've just stuck the boxes down because I just thought it's wasted paper really, you're not gonna see it, but you might want a little border or something. So I'm just gonna add the glue. Now what you wanna do is you wanna, this, the width of the base, this is slightly wider than the width of this. So you wanna make sure that you get this hugging the score line, okay? Don't go over it, because it's gonna interfere with the, the fold otherwise. But you'll see there, you should have just a little kind of one eighth of an inch little lip here. That's what you want. And if you bring it up while you're still kind of, you know, moving it around and that glue's not set properly, it will just mean that you know that you're going to get it, you know, 
you've got a nice kind of hinge there. So you want to make sure that that box is completely flush with the bottom when you bring it up. But you've got a little lip there and I just, it's better to have that little bit of room than it come over and then your lid be a bit funny. Okay, so I mean if you don't like that and afterwards stick it all down, there's, you know, there's no harm in trimming that off. You know, you can quite easily cut that off if you want to. It's entirely up to you, but that one's now stuck, okay? Then with these ones here, these are both going to stick down the, the far end of the long ones. You've got to leave this section here clear so that when they all come down, this one's got room to come up. It's got to, all, all three boxes have to all be within this width here, or the length. So again, you're going to stick them down the same way, but this time you're just making sure that you kind of hug it into that bottom corner. So again, always on the base of the box. So I'm going to come right down here and hug this score line again so you've got that little bit of overhang at the top here. And then just bring it over. You can go in and push it. Make sure it's right up against the edge there. And you'll see that all comes in nicely there. Because once the acetate's on there as well, that will pop out just a little bit. But it just means you've got the room for all those kind of things and anything extra that you might want to add to it. I mean, you might decide that you want to put an actual lid on the top of the box and um, you know have a closure that way rather than the acetate. So you can do that. And then again, stick this one down. Bring it down that way and just stick that all into place. Okay. So it very quickly comes together. All right, so that's it, you know, and it does all kind of square off once the acetate's in and everything else is in place. So now get your lid and you just want to, I would say use liquid glue. You'll see why in a minute. But if you just, because we've done this a little bit bigger anyway, because we've done it, the width was just that little bit over, um, you know, that one sixteenth of an inch. We got you to cut it just slightly under eight and a quarter. If you bring up two of your sides, so do this one, try and do this one at the same time. I mean, the lid will fit, so you know, don't worry, you don't have to do it. Don't watch this now and think, oh, I can't do all that, how she's doing it. Just see what I'm gonna do and then you'll, you know, it makes sense. But now if you bring this up and put the lid on, you can see there that it's definitely gonna, you know, um, it's gonna fit. So sometimes it's good to actually, because I can move that around. So if that was a little bit tight, I've got room to kind of, maybe widen it a little bit by just pulling out the tab slightly but that one I you know I know it's going to fit okay but sometimes if you're a bit unsure if your lid's going to fit and you're worried it might be too tight just use some liquid glue do a couple of the tabs at the same time and actually glue the lid together whilst it's on the box so now I can just bring that under bring that under and then close it and that way you know it's definitely going to fit so, you know, there's nothing worse than I've had people message me before saying, you know, they've finished all the project and then they've gone to do the lid and they've cut it too small or, you know, not quite got the score line right. So you can just go around there and just make sure they're all stuck down. But that way, yeah, you just get a really nice closure. Now we've got mats and layers to add to it. That's going to add a bit of bulk. And obviously the when you add the gift card, that does create a little bit more bulk. So the lid will move quite freely now, but it will become a little bit more um, you know, tighter once we start to add all those mats and layers. So I'm going to take my lid off now and just make sure it's really all stuck down. But that's it. It's all now down to the decoration. So it's very easy done. So if you want to make quite a few of these, you can see, you know, if you go and get all your lids cut and do all of them and then get all the boxes cut and do those and then do all the bases, you can probably put these together quite quickly. And I think they'd make nice gifts for, you know, um, just little favours like on the table or something. Maybe you're doing a little dinner party and you want to give everybody little gifts. I love doing that kind of thing. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's where we need to be. So I'm now going to go and look at my papers and um, get the envelope punch board to make the little envelope for the gift card. And, uh, yeah, just decide exactly how I want to decorate this really nice little box. Okay, so I've stuck loads of bits down. And what I'm going to do is just talk you through the mats and layers that you're going to need. And then I'm going to show you how to do the acetate and the envelope and then that's it. So I've done all of the sides. So if I bring this up, you can see how it's going to look and I've added the mirrored cardstock to this one. Oh, I've just realized I haven't done the outside. So that's fine, I can cut them in a minute. So for these three boxes, you're gonna need six pieces of three and three quarters by one and three quarter. 
they go on each of the sides here, so that's six, and then six pieces of the pattern paper, which is one and a half by three and a half. Okay, so that covers them. For the insides here, these pieces are just slightly smaller than the, the width of the box, so that's two and a half, so I've done two and a quarter by three and three quarters, so that's three pieces of those. And then for the short sides here, again you want six pieces that are two and a quarter by one and three quarters, and six pieces that are two by one and a half. Then you will want three pieces that are three and seven eighths of an inch by two and three eighths, that's for this side, this side, and this side. <laughs> and then you want two pieces that are six by two and three eighths of an inch. Okay, and then this inside piece here, you've got three and seven eighths of an inch by six, and then the pattern piece is three and five eighths, and that will be by five and three quarters. Okay, so that's all of the mats and layers. Now to make the envelope, you want a piece of five by five pattern paper. And I'm using the envelope punch board, and it's the very first one here says gift card. So that's the one you want to follow, and that will be the perfect size for all your standard gift cards. It's credit card size. So it's a piece of five by five, and the first score line is at two. So I'm just going to punch and score. I always like to do mine this way. It's slightly different to others, but I do prefer it. And then do the others. There is a tutorial to use this, so I'll link that for anybody. I don't expect you to just follow that straight away. Most people know, and there's lots of videos online anyway. But now you have this piece. And then you've got your corner punch on there, but I'm just going to use my one here. And then I'm just going to burnish all of the score lines. And then just grab some of my double-sided tape. Oh my God, I've got such a mess to the right of me. So many um, scrap pieces from where I've cut all of my mats and layers. So I'm just going to pop a strip there. And one there, and then just take off the backing, like so. Keep that up the right way because that's directional underneath. There we go. And then I'm going to put a little glue dot there, and then I've gone and fussy cut the same, you know, the underside here. I've just cut one of those out, and that's going to stick on the front. So I'll actually stick that one down now. And then I'm going to, nearer the time when I actually go and put the gift card in, because I need to buy the one for this one, um, I will put a little glue dot and seal it. Okay, so now I can just add some glue onto the back of this one. And then stick this one onto the mirrored card stock, so it will have a tiny little border. But I do think it looks nice. It'll take a little bit longer to dry. It does dry against the mirrored card stock. Um, otherwise you can use double sided tape like the red tape or anything like that but now that's all in place okay so it's looking really nice I love that look <laughs> and then that will all close up so you do get a little bit of bulk at that end but like I said the lid will still fit but you can see how nice that's all coming together for your pattern paper on here because I'm going to go cut this off camera and stick it on you'll see it in the photos but you'll want a piece you want two pieces of five and three quarters by two and a quarter two and one eighth, sorry, and then you'll want two pieces that are three and five eighths by two and one eighth, okay, so that's that. Then you want three pieces of acetate that are eight by six and a half, and on all four sides you're going to score at two inches, so two, two, two and two. Now you can fold and burnish next if you want, but I actually find it's easier to cut the acetate when it's still flat. But you're going to remove the four squares. So you can see there's a square in every corner. You're just removing that and you want to remove all the score line. Okay, so take all of the score line out. In case you want three pieces, and then I just always find it easier just to fold acetate with your fingers. Don't, you know, burnish it with one of your um, bone folders. It's just easier to do it just like this. That's enough because then you can manipulate them back a bit. But now that will sit perfectly inside. 
and it will wedge itself in, push it right down, but it will go in really nicely and they stay in. Okay, so there is the inside and then there are my sides. So I've tried to make sure I get the hearts on all of the sides there. I think it looks really, really nice. And I love this. I mean, you don't have to put a gift card in there. You can also put one of those little kind of encouragement cards that you can buy um, from like the card shops and things like that. They're really nice. I've got them for friends before, but I just love these. I think it's just, yeah, it's lovely. And like I said, you can put a card in the middle there if you want to, but I'm super pleased with this one. And then once I've added a few more little bits of decoration onto the top there, I might even put a bow or have a gift tag hanging. I might even do something around here maybe put some ribbon around there possibly i don't know but you'll see in the photo so that's that one and that's the other one there so again the white on this one looks okay i think because it's a white lid whereas with that one i think i might need to put something on that so it definitely needs some ribbon or something but again you can just see it's quite simply decorated i will add a little bit more to that i might put some nouveau drops and some sequins and things like that which i like to do but again just open that one up and then everything drops out really nicely. I think it's great, work for many occasions, great for birthdays, Christmas, Easter, you know, you can put Easter eggs in here, all kinds of things. But um, yeah, I'm really pleased with how they come together. The lids fit on nice and snug. I think they make really nice gifts and you can post them as well. I mean, obviously that's a little bit more weighted because of what's in it, but if you're putting light things in, that will post quite nicely. So yes, there you have it. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this Valentine's series. Thank you for all your comments messages everything it's always you know i just i love it you know i do so thank you please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's tutorial and i'll be back again very soon with another video thank you for watching bye